Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat and I'm Raven. And uh, welcome to another soap bust soap stash soap stash busting soap stash soap stash soap stash soap. I don't know. Soap stash. It doesn't roll off the tongue very well. No, soap stash does though. So soap stash video. Yeah, something like that. We made the mistake of many many a baby soaper in the uh, early times of our business where we purchased way too many fragrance oils. We got I, excited. We did. And we made the mistake of buying fragrance oils we liked before we had a design. Big mistake. Don't do that. Design first. Buy fragrances afterwards. So you're not like us. And have... but I don't think any of these fragrances are among those. I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. But... We, uh, we have a lot of fragrance oils that we need to use up, and we can only use so many of them in bath bombs and bubble scoops and stuff like that, so we need to make some soap. So we're taking inspiration from Delightful's uh, stock box videos, where she just pulls a doll at random out of the box and designs a character on the fly. And we did another video, and I'll, I'll put that up in the iCard, where Kat did this, and Kat designed a soap on the fly, and now it is my turn. You know, I love random. It's the best. <laughs> So down here in this box, this is one of our package boxes. So when we go to the post office with arms and arms of packages, we put them in this. I have put a bunch of fragrance oils that we have enough to be able to do a slab with and are not likely to discolor. And uh, Kat has put them in here for me, so I don't know which one is which. So I'm going to reach in at random and grab one. So I'm going to turn away so I can't see the label. Okay. This one. So looks like I got Jamaica Me Crazy, which is a fruity scent. Ha, huh, okay, let me get this out of the way. So this one is definitely a very fruity smell. It's got lots of fruit notes in it. We have this one from another supplier as a dupe. It's a pretty common fragrance. I think what I would like to do, I think I wanna do some neons. What do you think of neons? Yeah, let's do this. This is yours. Neons. Okay, I want to do a white, so that'll be, I, I want to think like tropical drink. So I want to do a white base, I think, and I'm going to do some neon colors, or at least really vibrant colors. So when the first color I think I'm going to do is a combo of taxi cab and neon yellow. You moved them. <gasps> you. Now how's it feel? <gasps> Next up is going to be a combo of green vibrance and neon green, which I know I have like 8 million of neon green. I kind of like the look of that. What's working for me so far? They remind me of a flag. I don't know which flag, but they remind me of a flag. They remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? <laughs> the power of voodoo. Who do? You do. Do what? Remind me of the babe. <laughs> Help. <laughs> that movie means next to nothing to me. That's the most ridiculous part. Like, I don't care. I did not grow up with that movie. I did. And so that movie's just weird to me. But I love David Bowie. Colors are all mixed. Here, watch this fun transition. Bam! Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's get the lye poured in here. Lye, distilled water, sodium lactate, the usual. Locked and loaded. Let's do this. I love how I was hella aggressive with mine and you're being like really gentle with yours. That's how I prefer it. I like it to be gentle. I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Who usually has to deal with the soap being shenanigans? Mix rough. <laughs> huh? Depends on how uh, shenanigans it is. All right, so now this is all blended up. I'm gonna get this poured into the colors. One. You know? Two. Who these colors remind me of? Hmm. Bibi Sahar Benet. Sahara Benet. <laughs> Cameroon. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna be the most basic, like, citrus color. <laughs> you know, at least I, I went with pink instead of orange. It wasn't being completely basic. Raven so, is a basic bitch. Thanks. 
<laughs> you like pumpkin spice. You're a basic bitch. Shh. Don't, don't give up my secrets. <laughs> I am an enigma. Don't perceive me. While I'm getting these ready, I want to kind of talk about the plan before I dive right into it. So I've been seeing a number of videos on, especially TikTok lately, of uh, different soap makers trying this technique where you take the slab and you pour in these little circles. Um, like you pour like little dots and you always pour in the same spot as you switch colors. And I'm really curious to try that because it looks cool and we've never done it. And this feels like a really appropriate time to be experimental. Experimenting. Exactly. You just love that experimentation, don't you? Why you gotta make it weird? <laughs> Would I be me if I didn't? No. <laughs> Would not be you. I'd be questioning. I'd be like, are you tired? Are you hungry? What's wrong? <laughs> Do changelings get you? Do I need to feed you? Are you hangry? What's happening? Okay, I would love if it's safe to go in like 2022. If VidCon is in person again, I really want to go and I want to meet Jackie in person and I want to give her a big hug and I really hope that Sika will be there and you and Sika can meet. Oh my god, I want to meet Sika so much. Sika's hot. This is true. This is what I thought when Sika, Sika opened her spicy accountant site today. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you gotta go sign up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me get these blended. Blended too much more, but it's got specs. Dang it! I even put the freaking thing in water. Ugh. All right, whatever. So I have a rather distinct feeling I'm going to need to speed this up in post because everything I've seen is that this takes a while. So let me go ahead and get started, and and then I will speed up in just a second here. So it starts with just putting like boop, 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 boop. Boop. Okay. And then we grab the next color and we just keep going. So I'm going to speed it up from here. So this is looking really cool and very tie-dye. I don't know if that's the intention. We'll find out, I guess. I have a little bit of leftover, so I'm just gonna put that on the top here. I think I'm gonna go like one of these. Now it's looking like zebra gum. Uh, how should I finish this top? Should I just mm -hmm. leave it? That is up to you. I say glitter it. All the colors? I don't wanna do all the colors. So I'm thinking either watermelon sugar or summer lemonade from the good glitter. They're both biodegradable glitters. Both. I don't want to do both. I feel like both would be too much. Just a little bit of both. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to assume this right here is going to be the mini bars. I'm going to put a little bit and see how I like it and then try the other one and see how I like it. So I settled on watermelon sugar. I'm getting like 90s vibes from this. Hollow darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Not everything has to have hollow. I know, blasphemy. Glad you recognize that that is blasphemous. All right, it's gonna have to be good enough. <laughs> All right, so I finished it off. A little bit of super sparkles. I want it hollow. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that it was not your soap. <laughs> my soap had hollow. Your soap had everything. <laughs> No, it didn't. You're like, you're like the queen of kitchen sink. There's like 30 glitters in there and there was not 30 glitters on this soap. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that all the glitters <laughs> that you own is the new standard. <laughs> if you're going to say all. Okay, fine. I'll get you some freaking hollow. <laughs> God dang, Christine. <laughs> Chill out. Just, just a little bit though. Just a little bit. There. Yay! You feel better? Addict. Uh, I am the glitter goddess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need glitter to live. 
So here is the close-up on my Jamaica Me Crazy, very 90s aesthetic citrusy soap. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see how this turns out. We've never done this technique before, and it feels really weird to leave the top like that, but it means each of the individual bars are going to look really cool. So this is me not using a chopstick for once. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love it so much. So we're going to let this sit for overnight and then come back and split it down into loaves and then cut it down into bars. And we'll see how we did with this particular technique. Wish us luck. Bye. Welcome back. So here is my neon monstrosity. Look at the sides. How cool is that? This is awesome. I'm so excited. The butt looks funny though. The butt looks real the funny. The butt looks really weird. There's the butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so excited to cut this. So let's just get going. I'm very curious to see how this comes out. First blow. Ready? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. So swirly. Kind of looks like 90s fire right there. <laughs> yeah, <a little> <laughs> like the 90s flame. Oh no. Plagued forever by the 90s flame. I still draw the 90s flame every so often just to f*** with people. <laughs> Apologies for this. I was making uh, bubble scoops earlier today and then mini bubble scoops, which Kat has coined as bubble babies. They're so cute. All right, I'll try and get a twang this time, okay? There you go. Twang! Thud. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> sticky still. Oh, we got a little bit of color muddying here. God dang that titanium though. Like, I had that mixed with water. Why is it so chunky? Oh, man, though. Look at that. Nice. More 90s flames. <laughs> Trevor plagued with the 90s flame and the Super S. The Super S. <laughs> <laughs> or the Cool S, I think is what the Wikipedia article calls it. I'm fairly certain everybody, it's one of those things where everybody called it something different, but even with everyone calling it something different, everyone knew what it was. I just, everybody I knew just called it the S. It's like just that S, that one S that everybody knew how to do. I still know how to do it. Of course, we all do. <laughs> Once you learn, you can never stop. Once you learn it, you cannot unlearn it. You were stuck forever with it. Okay, something so sticky. Jeez. Do you hear Greg struggling? Yes. Oof. It kind of sounded like that scene in Titanic where they, where the ship's cracking. Ooh, stripies. Where's the white? <laughs> no white. Maybe. All right, let's, uh, let's try another one here. How about this one? This one looks like it's probably got some white. It, I mean, it should. There it is. Yay! <laughs> well, that's really interesting. I don't know. I don't. I didn't know what to expect because we've never done this technique before. More 90s flames, by the way. <laughs> More of them. More. They're everywhere. Oh, no, I think the 80s called and also want their soap back. The 80s and 90s are fighting over that. Oh, no. All right, this is one of the ones from the edge. Let's see how that came out. Ooh. Peen. God dang it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Can't escape. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to be honest. This doesn't feel like a me soap. I think that's maybe the, the drawback with something like this. I don't feel like this is me. You know what? I feel like your soap was more like something I would have designed, and this feels like more like something you would have designed. <laughs> How did we do that? The funny thing is, though, like, think about it, though. All the ocean soaps we've done, mm -hmm. I've designed. That's true. Yours just almost felt subdued, which is usually more my brand. <laughs> and this is really loud, which is usually more your brand. <laughs> so I don't know. It's weird. Like, I, I like it. I think it looks really cool. But it's just not what I would normally have designed. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. I feel like that means that we did what we were trying to do with this. We did something we would not have normally done. Which is fun. If you liked this, the idea of us doing sort of a soap 
soap stash video where we just pull random stuff. I know someone left a comment, I think it's pronounced Lindsay, um, recommending that maybe we take a D20 and put random fragrances and random design options and things like that in colors and that we just roll a D20. I would say instead of doing that with a D20, uh -huh. what we do is we go through and we count how many fragrances we have and then that's the type of dice we use. I I just love the idea. I yeah, love so I love much. that idea. You know, like roll a design, roll a fragrance, roll some colors and just make it work. I love that. I love that so much. So if you want to see more like this or like we roll dice and then basically do the wild magic of soap, let us know. I would love to do some more fun stuff like this. We're going to let these cure. They will be ready in the middle of September. So they will be released at the end of September as part of our September launch, which will be my birthday month slash Halloween themed. You heard it here first. And uh, birthday month is always Halloween themed. Yeah, I know, because I like to co-op Halloween, because that's how I be. I love <laughs> Halloween. It's the best. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> we're restocking some things, including these are going to be available at the end of this month, August. Which fragrance are these? Let's see. These ones are Moonflower, and those ones are Champagne Pomegranate. I'm planning on doing more, so keep an eye out for a restock on probably bath bombs and bubble scoops and all kinds of fun stuff. So, with that, we're going to call it good for today. This is your usual hydration reminder. Go. You. Right there, you. I'm talking to you. Go hydrate. Okay? Love you. Bye. <laughs>